guys, it's Victor for the Gimme Flink Man channel, and this video is late, so to the enemas, I apologize for this being like, oh, you may, you know, I asked him like two weeks ago to be a guest on and he made the video like right away, which kind of was like, well, dude, take your time, you know, he made it right away. Um, but it, this is, um, okay, how do I do this? I, you know, I feel like there's no way I can do this video without pissing some people off and coming off as crass. So I'll just go ahead and say, I'm gonna piss off some people and come across as crass. <laughs> and the reason is, cause I'll, I'll tell you why. Okay, Safdi Papa, um, Kurt, great guy. His videos improved quite a bit recently, uh, by the way. Um, he PM'd me, or he recommended this J vlogger, this new guy named The Edemus. And I'm like, yeah, I'm always, you know, I'm always looking for new people, new blood, you know, to, to boost up the J vlogging community. And I checked out his channel, and I'm watching his channel, and I'm thinking, he's pretty good, he's smart. And I like the way he presents himself. He's right in the camera, he's not shy, he's, he's very, you know, uh, energetic. He's engaging, and he's um, doing videos about the JPL, JPLT, Japanese Proficiency, language, oh, JLPT, Jang, la, Japanese Language Proficiency Test, which I've taken as well, uh, and, it, and a lot of people, you know, ask questions about that, and I'm watching his videos, and into like the third video, I'm like, does he have like Nightcrawler hands, you know, and I don't know if you guys are X-Men fans, but Nightcrawler had like three fingers, right, and I always thought that was pretty cool, and he could climb and shit. And um, and this is why this is why I know this is crass for me to, to think even think that. But so you know I like his videos first, and then I notice that, and then I and then I think, oh my God, this guy has you know a handicap, right? And I've been emailed on occasion more than once uh, regarding handicaps, and actually specifically from this one guy who actually sent me pictures of his hands. They, he was born with some um, genetic, I don't remember the name of the condition, but a genetic problem or genetic, uh, I, I don't know, I, want, I don't want to say birth defect, but I don't, for lack of better words, because I'm an insensitive clod, a birth defect. And he had, you know, problems with his hands. He was missing some fingers. And he said, how will the Japanese deal with me? How will they treat me? You know, because I've heard that Japanese are really um, you know, having a handicap is a taboo in Japan, and there's stories of people who have who are in wheelchairs. They have to stay inside, you know, because they, it's too embarrassing. It's a shame to go out. And if you were born with a handicap, it's because you were, you know, cursed by God, and it's just an embarrassment to the family. And I've heard those stories before, um, but I think you know those times have changed. But I cannot say, and I and I hope so. But I cannot say with any uh, any amount of confidence because, as you can see, I'm a perfectly healthy male adult with three nipples, uh, which nobody can see. So. No, but uh, everyone's got you know problems, handicaps. I I do not I do not have glasses on the internet. I'm handicapped because I'm not a girl with big boobs. So you know, anyway, we're all different. That's all I'm saying. But I I emailed the guy and I'm like, hey, I would like for you to be a guest sensei for two reasons. One, your videos are good, and two, maybe you can speak on behalf of this question. And so I have invited him to appear on the channel, and I like you guys. Give him a warm welcome. His name is the Edemus, and he's a, he's smart. He's a smart, good J vlogger. And if you like him, sub to him. And um, and if you think I was a jerk on this video, well, I'm sorry, but it's just me. It's the way I am. All right, I got a, I got a sensitivity handicap. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. And check out the Edemus. Here we go. With oh, and I'm sorry it took me so long to get your video up. He sent it to me right away, and I, I knew I just I was so busy this hey week. Hey guys, the name's Bye. Ed. I'm from the new J vlogging channel, the Edemus. Now a little bit about the channel. It's gonna be like a J vlog, J news and Japanese language study type of channel. By that I mean I'm not going to teach you Japanese but I'm going to more or less relay study methods specifically for maybe the, the Japanese language proficiency test, the JLPT or something like that or just different methods that I have used to get to where I am now and where I hope to get further. Um, a little bit of bio on me. Uh, I became interested in Japan in middle school so about 15 years ago or so and uh, would watch Dragon Ball and all that and as I got older interested changed but took Japanese in high school for about three years and I'm in about my third or fourth year of university. I studied abroad twice in Japan. I'm from America by the way. I studied abroad twice in Japan. Uh, once from September 2010 to March 17th 2011 and if you are aware of Japan at all around that time about six days before that, there was the big Tohoku earthquake, and because of that, they my university pulled my program, and I had to return back. I was studying abroad at Sofia University in Tokyo. Second time, same place, just this year, from April to August of 2012. I lived on the western.
side of Tokyo both times. One sitting next to each other, one was Koganeshi, the next was Kokobunjishi, and had a great time. Japan is a wonderful place, and I hope to get back there as soon as possible. My other thing about myself, I like martial arts, I like to draw, uh, I like to read manga and all that, like anime kind of, sort of. When I was six, I was electrically shocked. I was playing around with some TV antennas, and boom, got shocked. So I'm missing some fingers. My right hand, missing my index, middle, and most of my ring. I have my pinky and pad my thumb, so I can grip things like that. And on my left hand, I'm missing my pinky. And I have a bit of a scar here where the electricity went out. Anywho, uh, I had a bit of a question asked to me about whether or not, how people treated me in Japan. Honestly, I can say it's no different than in America, where adults will notice, but they don't really care, they don't, some of them will ask questions, some might say anything. Kids are kids. They stare. That's what they do. So if you have any type of physical disability or something like that, it only gets to you if it, you let it get to you. I mean, if you've had one, then you know. But uh, generally, you're not shunned or anything. You're not like a leper. They're not going to lock you into a room. I went everywhere, did everything, and, you know, occasionally, like, getting my wallet out or something, I might have trouble putting it back, putting money in or something like that, but generally it's just a patience thing, and Japan seems pretty patient, even though there's all this, uh, rushing mentality, like, on the train, they're like, I must get to the train! Like, it's gonna, like, there's not one two minutes later, but, um, that's Tokyo. Uh, yeah, I, as far as my hands are concerned, I've had no other, no issues. No, no one ever was like, oh, or scared or anything like that. More than I'd normally have in America. Um, handshakes are always awkward. <laughs> but you can't really get away from that. Uh, I also have spent some time in a Japanese hospital. I caught bronchitis while I was there. And at that time, my Japanese was really poor. Um, and... That was fun. Yeah. Been studying Japanese for, I guess, about 10 years now, but, you know, it's been on and off, and I haven't been very diligent. I'm not a really good studier. Um, someone asked me today what the secret to studying Japanese is, as if I hold some secret. And, you know, the only thing I told them is the only thing I do is you got to do it. Like, Japanese is, you know, I heard, I think Hiko Saiman said, your brain is like a muscle. And you have to exercise it, and the only way to do that is by thinking and speaking and just trying your hardest. And if you fuck up, then who cares? I mean, it's just what you do. So, I appreciate it. Really, you check out my channel. Uh, again, that's The Edimus, and I am Ed, just kind of a new J vlogger. And thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.